George Washington University is often ranked among the top 50 schools in the country. But now U.S. News & World Reports has taken away the school's ranking. And as Gail Huff tells us, students are not happy. We pay a huge amount to go here, and then we find out that we're not going to a elite ranked university. So uh, to, put it, to put it politely, we're extremely annoyed. Students at George Washington University woke up today to learn their top tiered school no longer ranks number 51 in the country. Online U.S. News & World Report officially moved the school to the unranked category after learning the university was incorrectly reporting data over the past decade. We're paying like a lot of money and if we're not even ranked anymore, I think it's kind of ridiculous that we're paying $60,000 a year. I know that I looked at U.S. News and World Report when I was applying to GW and the fact that it's no longer there further complicates applications all around. In their fall 2011 entering class, GW reported 78% of the freshman class ranked in the top 10% of their high school, but the actual number was far less. Only 58% of the freshmen ranked in the top 10%. It seems like they were fudging the figures and they got caught. I don't know if it was a mistake or if it was intentional. If it was intentional, then I think it was uh, wrong. The university's president says it was a flaw in their data reporting systems and not intentional. First of all, we very much regret the error. Uh, and, uh, and it's certainly an embarrassing error. You, you never want to find out something like this. I still think as soon as you do find out, you have an obligation to report it and to correct it and make sure it doesn't happen again. This printed publication doesn't come out for another year, which means the university has some time to make changes in hopes that next time it's back in the rankings. In Northwest, Gail Hawk, ABC 7 News.